Hi, welcome to Ask Profile Builder. Uh, during this session, I'm going to show you how to add a Facebook like button to your profile hub. So here we are on client Julie Owen's Jigsaw Business Services page. Now Julie does have a Facebook business page, so to get that like button, we need to go to Facebook. So we'll navigate as if we are Julie on her business page. Now, uh, here we are on the Jigsaw Business Management Services uh, page. Uh, what you need to make sure is that you navigate to the um, page wall rather than your welcome tab. There's a reason for that because each one of these tabs has a unique URL. And it's the wall URL that we make need to make sure that we're copying. Okay, while we're here, what you need to do is on the wall, while logged into the wall page, you see the URL across the top of the page? Well, what we need to do is copy the unique URL that denotes this particular wall page. So everything after facebook.com forward slash, you need to copy. It's quite a long string. Some people um, actually set up vanity URLs where it's a lot shorter. Um, that's another demo. We'll talk about that later. So copy that URL. Now what we want to do is navigate to where we can create the like button within Facebook. So you do that by clicking on edit page. Now down the left, number of options, but we're looking for marketing. So click that. Now here we are and we're looking for the tab that says add a like box to your website. So we'll click that. Okay, this gives us two fields, two sections, two columns. Um, the first one is where you can change the attributes of how the like button looks. The right hand column shows a, a kind of preview of how that like box or button will look at the end of the day. Currently it's on default so you see the top field where it says facebook.com forward slash. Now platform is the default so we want to get rid of that and paste the unique URL from your wall. So click return You'll see it working and what it's done it's sensed where that page is and pulled in the key wall information so you can see their clients um, uh, business page name and then it's pulling in a selection of wall postings and also key contacts for the uh, for, for yourself now you can edit how this looks and how much information is there on this left hand section so the first is the width, and uh, happily for Profile Builder clients, the width is set up ideally for the narrow column on your profile hub, so that can be left alone. Colour scheme, two options, light and dark. We recommend light, because if you choose dark, this is how it looks, a bit doomy and gloomy. It may suit your page, but generally we suggest that you opt for the light option. There's also an option that says show faces. So as you can see, with that clicked, you see the faces of your followers. With that unclicked, they're gone. Now, you can also either show the wall stream or unshow it. In this instance, I'm just gonna add um, a button that says the key information and a like button. So I'm going to get rid of that um, stream. You can choose to put it, some people like it, some don't. In this instance, I'm not going to add that. So I'll uncheck that. We want to show the header because we want the, uh, the name to appear next to the logo and next to the like button that will appear. But obviously you can set this up to, to suit your own needs. Now, as soon as you've got that prepared, you need to click the get code button. Now, Two options, iframe XFBML. Don't even ask me what XFBML stands for, but what I know is that iframe is the code that you need to copy, because that's what we can put into the profile. Click OK. Right, we've got the code, so what we're doing next is going into um, Julie's uh, engine room CMS system. And what we want to do is click on 
a block that's currently empty. So here we are, we've got an empty block, block five. It gives us space for a header and then a place for us to put the code into. First of all, create a heading. Now, we recommend that you say, like, do that again, like my Facebook page. Because that's a, a doing um, expression, so it will give people the impression of, ah, I've got to do this. So it will lead them to the action that you want. Next, we click on the main field, and because we've got code, we want to add that into the code view of this um, block. So to do that, there's a button at the top that says toggle HTML view. Looks like two little arrows pointing away from each other. You want to click that. What you'll see is a little bit of code and the clicking cur the winking cursor. Now all you do, do a paste. There's the code. It's meaningless to us mere mortals. But if you click that toggle button again, suddenly it turns into the information that we want to go into the button. So if you like what you see, you click. make sure you click update. Now, that's not quite the end of the story. What we've got to tell your profile is where on the profile page to put that. So to do that, we need to navigate to a button within the Engine Room CMS system called Layout, funnily enough. So there it is, about halfway down Layout. We click that, and this gives a breakdown of uh, client Julie Owen's uh, page layout for her profile. So what we're doing is we're looking for a spare, empty field. Now, here's one I prepared earlier. On the narrow thin column, I've just created an empty field, which we can now add our like button. So because we put the like code into the engine room database, there it is as an option. So click like my Facebook page, brackets no pick. So that's there. Now, you must click the update button. That now is in the database. So the next time we go back to Julie's profile and we do a refresh, there it is at the top of that narrow column, like my Facebook page. Now any visitors to this profile page um, that don't already like um, the Jigsaw Business Services page will see a like button that they can press. Voila, job done.